Hi, this is Sam Drogi. This is a video about how to make glycol traps, glycol cup traps, for catching native bee species using a three inch PVC pipe and half inch electrical conduit, the plastic kind. Oh. Okay, our objective here is to cut small rings with the PVC pipe and cut up the uh, conduit uh, to make the trap. You're just going to cut off a thin slice, maybe half an inch with the PVC, PVC pipe uh, that's going to hold the hook. I'm just doing that with a handsaw here. And now we're going to go and do the same thing with, a, you know, maybe a 10-inch piece of um, plastic electrical conduit that costs you 99 cents, I think, for a piece. Okay. Um, you can also do this with a bandsaw. I'll show you a section here where you take uh, a bandsaw and slice, slice off pieces. Basic equipment is required, and you want to make sure you got a good grip on that um, piece of pipe. And you don't want those little rings to slide back and hit the front of the bandsaw blade, or they'll pop off and um, fly all over the room. Not too dangerous, but not that them good. You do the same, you can gain up a whole set of um, electrical conduit and run it through the bandsaw at the same time. Unlike in this picture, it's really actually better to have all of them flat on the surface rather than a couple um, higher up and uh, they won't pop around as much. But you can go through them really quickly this way and do a lot. Okay, now we're going to go to assembly. And uh, what you want to do is take one of your rings, take a self-tapping screw of some kind. could even be just a standard um, drywall screw and put in a series of uh, screws, one screw actually, in each ring. And then, um, and there's a hole in the table, as you see there, so that you can run Obviously the you're not an um, screw all the way down <laughs> into the pipe. That's good to show the... Uh, uh, and now the next back. one and is and assembling the um, uh, rings to the okay. uh, pipes themselves. So we're going to use that same sort of setup where we have the um, two other pipes to hold it from rolling. If you don't have those there, they roll all over the place. It's very hard to control. And what you're going to do is screw the ring right to the electrical conduit, you know, maybe half inch down from the top. doesn't matter a whole lot. You want to use a small screw so that you don't have a lot of the uh, screw tip pointing out the other end, which uh, from personal experience, I know you can um, cut your hand on when you're trying to pound it into the ground. And that's pretty much it. I do. see. Okay, done.